To create an email sequence, you go to Tools menu, click on Email Sequences. You'll be able to see a list view of all your existing email sequences, along with some basic statistics in the reply rate, open rate, click rate, and unsubscribed rate columns. Click on the Create New button to add your new sequence. Give your new sequence a name and description. By default, you will be the owner of the sequence. You can change this if you need to. Finally, decide if the process should only be run by yourself, personal email sequence, or if it should be available to all users, space email sequence. Click on Create to begin defining your sequence. First, select the type of record that the emails will be sent to. You can choose from Account, Contact, Lead, Opportunity, or Project, and then which email address to use. Now you are ready to add emails to your sequence. Click on the plus sign to add your first email or task. Let's send new customers an email as the first step of my welcome sequence. You can type the content straight into the new email, which can be sent from your personal email account or a company email address that you have access to use. Or you can select an existing template. Click on Save. That's your first day one email ready to go. Now you need to continue building your next steps. When you add your next email, you can choose whether it is always sent or only under certain conditions, if not open, if not clicked, or if not replied, or by using a custom condition that allows you to select another email field to use as a filter. When you add a task, you'll need to select the activity type. Fill in the subject line and due date, as well as link to the triggering record. Click on Save at each step and then adjust the day that the email should be sent or the task created. Once all your emails and tasks have been added, you then need to think about the settings for your sequence. In many situations, you'll want to unenroll recipients from your sequence if they reply or unsubscribe. You can choose to set up an email to send to the recipient if they reply as part of unenrolling them and or to create a task. If they unsubscribe, you can schedule a task. Additionally, you can unenroll based on a custom condition. This option lets you create a filter based on multiple different criteria and if the contact, lead, opportunity, or account is updated to meet the filter criteria, it will be unenrolled from the sequence. You'd use this option, for example, to unenroll a lead from your sequence if the lead was marked as lost by a user. Next, choose the time zone for the sequence in the days and times within which to send the emails. Finally, you can select if each email is sent as a brand new email or as part of a previous conversation. Once your sequence is complete, click on Publish to publish your sequence. You can publish, this will save all your changes, but the sequence will not be active or publish and activate to set it running. You can run test to test the sequence before you publish. You'll now see your new sequence in the list view of sequences. Additional learning resources can be found in our knowledge base and on our YouTube channel. If you have any questions or would like more information, please don't hesitate to contact us at support at pipelinersales.com. Please make sure you share this video with everyone in your organization who uses Pipeliner CRM so we can help them succeed too. We welcome your feedback and suggestions for adding to or improving our academy resources. Please email academy at pipelinersales.com with any suggestions. 